Now I've been joined by uh, Hilary Benn, the Environment Secretary. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. And now welcome to uh, Groundworks and its fantastic Eco House. Have you enjoyed your visit this afternoon? I have been really impressed and I'm very grateful to Liz Kendall for organising this. Uh, we've enjoyed our tour around the house and the garden and I think when you're able to show somebody how you can do things differently and and still do all of the things that we think are, are really important and matter, whether it's uh, saving energy, insulating our homes, taking advantage of the power of the sun with photovoltaic cells or heating up hot water, uh, how we can compost our waste or turn it into renewable energy as opposed to dumping it in landfill, then people, we begin to see that it is possible to make the change and it's not impossible, it's not too difficult. And so this is really a, you know, a living, breathing example of the future at work and uh, I think it's terrific, and I'm very glad I've had the chance to come here today. Can I ask you uh, one, one question myself, and then yep. we'll, we'll get a question from uh, Chris Burns. Um, do you think something like uh, this kind of project actually shows to, to people that as individuals, if everybody just does their bit, that it can actually make a difference? Yes, it does, because sometimes people say, well, what difference can I make? Uh, it's all down to governments and uh, international agreements and so on, and they're very important. But it's when we, each of us does our bit that we really make a difference. And one of the things that encourages those in government to move and to change things is seeing what's happening on the ground. And the fact is, if a lot of people change things a bit, it adds up to actually quite a significant change. And it's very, very powerful. And I think the Eco House here is a really good example. OK, now we're going to... One question from uh, Chris Burns. Now he's a member of the Youth Parliament and also an editorial member of the Wave newspaper. So, Chris, far away. Okay. Hi, Chris. Hello. So, I'm part of the council, the council, and I very like stuff on eco. And my question is, how can young people get more involved in the eco change and how we can change the future of what is First of all, take an interest. Secondly, to find out what's happening in the world. Come to places like this. If more schools were to visit the Eco House, then it would teach us a lot. I've learned things today that I didn't know. And then get stuck in and get involved. It could be volunteering in the local community. It could be helping at a place like this. It could be cleaning up a park. It could be uh, getting together with others to try and get a renewable energy project going. And making sure that you work with your local elected representatives, councils, members of parliament to say, come on, we can do this. So get stuck in, because the things in life that we're most proud of, in my experience, are the things that we put most of ourselves into. You know, effort in, reward and progress out is how I would describe it. And we can change things. Um, and so it's important to have a sense of hope and optimism, because it's easy to say, oh, it's all too tough. And, yeah, sometimes things are tough, but if you try then history teaches us we can change things enormously. It's the history of our country and we'll do it uh, when it comes to meeting the environmental challenge. So you're going to be running the world when people like me are you know, composting the ground. So I'm relying on you to get stuck in. Will you? Yeah. Good. Thanks very much. Thank you.